Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Minor League Baseball, the show. Today is our third game at the Arkansas Travelers and your San Antonio Missions. Well, today is a good day for baseball, and we are so glad that you're tuning in. And <clears throat> can't, can't say it's going to be a good day. Well, let's prepare to get your scorecards as we present this morning's starting lineups. It's going to be a beautiful day. Let's do that. First for the visiting San Antonio Missions. <coughs> Leading off and playing in second, Roberto Luis. Luis in second. Batting second is the third baseman, Robert Rodriguez. Rodriguez at third. Left fielder, Bobby Pierre. Pierre at left. Edgar Ramos will bat fourth for San Antonio. Ramos at right. Batting fifth is the first baseman, Bo Duval. Duval at first. Batting six is the designated hitter, Alan Cordoba. Cordoba, the DH. Art Suit will be seventh for San Antonio. He'll be the center fielder. Batting eighth is the catcher, Ronald Clemente. Clemente, catching. And rounding out the batting order is the shortstop, Ernerick Herrera. Herrera round out the batting order and on the mound for the San Antonio Missions this morning, Maniel Avalis. Avalis, today's starting pitcher. And now here is the starting lineup for the Arkansas Travelers. Leading off and playing in left, Chris Rodriguez. Rodriguez in left, second baseman Dave Fukumori, Fukumori as second. Lawrence Bolger will bat third for Arkansas. Bolger coming in right. Batting fourth in first base, Dan Vokelbeck. Vokelbeck at first. Kirk Neuenheis will bat fifth. Neuenheis in center. Batting six is the shortstop, Gary Bentley. Bentley at short. Batting th seventh in the Arkansas lineup, third baseman Taylor Motter. Motter at third. And the designated hitter, Sam Ridley, <clears throat> will bat eighth for the Traveler lineup. Ridley, the DH. And rounding out the batting order is the catcher, Marno Carvajal. Carvajal, round out the batting order for the Travelers. And on the mound for the Arkansas Travelers this morning is Ricky Goldberg. Goldberg, today's pitcher for the Travelers. And there's your starting lineups. Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Texas League. Ought to be a good one here between the Arkansas Travelers and the San Antonio Missions. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Manuel Avilas, the right-hander from Venezuela, gets the starting nod in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, 
you don't see a lot of guys that have five pitches, right? Sometimes it's hard to master even two or three, but if you can master five like he has, he'll be in pretty good shape. Striding into the box, Chris Rodriguez. He will lead this one off today. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And we are underway this afternoon as the first pitch is over for a called strike one. The windup and the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. And they'll try and tempt him with one of the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's 1-2. The one-two. Line toward the alley in left center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. And he will pull into second with a leadoff double. Wow, that's the way to kick off a day at the ballpark right there. Leadoff hitter, and he puts the pitcher on his heels right out of the gate with a leadoff double. It's hard to get settled into a game as a pitcher when you're dealing with the runner in scoring position. One batter into the game. Standing in now, Dave Fukumori. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Looking to get something to the right side with that leadoff man at second to start the ball game. Set to deliver the 0-1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Swung on and missed. Really fooled him that time for the first out. And now we'll look at the starting lineup for the visitors in this one. Mark DeRosa, what's your take on him this afternoon on the road? Well, Matt, you take a look at this lineup filled with young bloods. Just young guys, hungry, aggressive, trying to do damage and move traffic to both gaps. Line-to-line -line power up and down this lineup. Should be interesting to see if this pitcher uses their aggressiveness against them. Coming to the plate now, Lawrence Bulger. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. Comes set and the 0-1. Hit the other way out toward right field. Armas is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Dan Vogelbach. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. First pitch fastball swung on and missed 0-1. This offense has been warned. If they didn't know already, now they do know. He's got his A-game fastball with him today. On its way, the 0-1 pitch lifted down the line and left. Poirier has a beat on it, and that retires the side. So they get a man to second here in the opening half inning, but fail to capitalize. So it's on to the bottom of inning number one. No score. Ricky Goldberg, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What do you have for us on him, Danny? This guy has a three-pitch mix, and he needs all three of his pitches. If he has them all working and uses them properly, he has a chance to be very effective. Now in the box, Roberto Ruiz. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Hard ground ball to third, and that's a base hit. So a little first pitch swing in there as he's on to kick off the inning. Batting second, third baseman, Robert Rodriguez. Digging in the switch hitter, Robert Rodriguez, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. First pitch on its way. A line shot to third base. And it got there so quickly, the runner didn't get very far from the bag. They settled with just the one out. And with that, here's a glance at the starting lineup for the home squad. Mark DeRosa, tell us about this lineup in a daytime home contest. Well, Matty, this lineup's going to have to find a way to score early. Get this pitcher uncomfortable. Stay on the attack. Get into the bullpen. That's the name of the game. They let this guy settle in. They'll breeze through seven strong. Well, when this play started, it all looked good. They get the lead runner, no problem, but he just doesn't make the return throw, and the hitter ends up safely at second. Not the result they were hoping for on what should have been a nice double play.
Into the box now. Edgar Armas high in the air out to center field. Neuenheis is there. And that's the third out. And inning in the books, no score here on the show. Now at the plate, Kirk Neuenheis. He'll start things out in the top half of the second. First delivery to him on the way. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Ramirez comes in unexpectedly from the pen in relief of his injured teammate. Now the 0-1. And a fastball down low as that one just about got away from him. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. And he pulled up in time, but it's a cold strike, too. If I'm the guy in the batter's box right here, I have to take a step out, adjust my batting gloves, take the pull side out of it, because that was three fastballs in a row. Hit hard up the middle. And that's through for a hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out their half of the second inning. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage, two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank. Because that guy made a nice two-strike approach right there. Made a nice two-strike adjustment. Stepping in now, Gary Bentley, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Neuenheis aboard here at first with nobody out. Hey, if he's going to offer at a fastball above the zone, why don't you just continue to climb the ladder? Don't be shocked if he goes even higher with this next pitch. Another one sent foul. Hey, I'm biased to the hitter right now. Keep frustrating that pitcher. Foul 12 of these things off. He's going to miss over the heart of the plate at some point. The next 0 2. Pulled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Not a bad pitch there with two strikes, but it misses one and two. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. The one-two. Ground ball foul down the left side. I didn't realize the pitcher and the hitter were being so charitable today, giving away seven free souvenirs to the fans. This is one of those epic at-bats. Everyone wins. And he'll get the fielder's choice play at second, but that's all. Taylor Motter steps into the box. He's set and the pitch. Snap throw from the catcher. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Behind 0-2 now. Again, another foul ball. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. So a two-run shot to left center as it's now a 2-0 ball game. 
Well, that ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive one out of the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin carried that one right out of here. Into the box, Sam Ridley. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Suter sprinting after it. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Coming to the plate now, Mariano Carbajal. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Fastball and he swings through it to fall behind. Yeah, guys, the key to hitting in the big leagues is to hit off the heater. And this guy is obviously sitting something else. Two out, nobody on. Heading out towards shallow right. Armas will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move. And that ends the inning. But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two-run home run. Onto the bottom of inning number two. The Travelers lead it two to nothing. Leading off the inning, Bo Duvall, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages of this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. He goes the other way as this is hit in the air toward the gap in right center. Bulger moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for round number one. Okay, here's his defense for the away team. And one of the main pieces on this team today is the guy playing shortstop. A ton of range, the ability to go in the hole, set that back foot with a strong arm over the first. There's a swing and he sends a ball high in the air into left field. Gone! A solo shot here to left as they cut the lead in half. It's 2-1 now. Hey, that's one of the toughest parts about standing out there on the bump, giving up a long home run or giving up a bomb at any time as a pitcher. You just have to regroup and get back on that horse. And now, Art Suter. Loud contact there, but it's well foul. One out, nobody on. Line to the right side. But he'll barely have to move out there and right as he hauls this one in for the second out. That's right. Ronald Clemente. Standing in, Ronald Clemente. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive snagged on a short hop. Throw on to first gets him, and the side is retired. But not before they're able to at least get one back on the solo home run. We played two, and this is now a two to one ball game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Chris Rodriguez. He'll step in to lead it off in the top of the third. Now a fastball to start the third. That misses. It's ball one. That'll be a souvenir, and the count will move to one and one. Now the one and one pitch is fastball taken high for a ball. Seems to me like they're pitching him a little bit more cautiously after that double he had his first time up. And that misses off the plate and low, so it's three and one now. Sent out to straightaway center field. Herrera backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. The batter, second baseman, Dave Fukumori. Riding in once again, Dave Fukumori. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 
First pitch coming. Here it is. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. A two to one score here as we play <laughs> inning number three. And he lays off for ball one. You know he wants that on the mound, especially if it would have made the count 0 and 2. Didn't get it though, so now you have to make another quality pitch on one and one. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. The two two is looked at, and the count moves full. With the meat of the order due up next, you can probably expect to see something you can handle here with the full count as the two hole hitter. Bouncer down the line. The next 3-2. Hit hard to third. And he whips on it as this ball's right under his glove. He threw first and hustling for second. And he'll reach second now with one away. The right fielder, number one. Lauren. Bolger. Digging in for his second at-bat. Lawrence Bolger. He flew out in his last at-bat. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. No balls in one strike. Fukumori leads off second with one gun in the inning. And this is hit hard to the right side. But foul. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. One and oh, the count. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And that one got a piece of him. Yeah, I'm not sure if that was intentional or not, but I do know when a guy at the plate is a stud like that and first base is open, there's absolutely zero reason to put the ball in the strike zone. I think he was trying to work around him, and it just got away. Standing in now, Kirk Neuenheis. One for one after a single his first time up. From the stretch. On a good curveball. Came back to catch the strike zone there, and it's 0-2. He's ready. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Missed with a breaking ball. That's back-to-back -back breaking balls away, but now he's got himself into a little bit of a tough spot. You probably can't throw that again, so your opponent is probably up there just looking for a fastball that he can drill. And he got him. the inning Enrique Herrera and they'll need him to get something going here Enrique here comes the first pitch line toward center field that gets down and he's got himself a base hit so a leadoff base hit out of the ninth spot and that sets the top of the order up nicely here to start the inning Roberto Ruiz. ready for another chance Roberto Ruiz he singled his last time up Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's a line drive out toward the gap in right center. Herrera rounds third and is digging for the plate. He will score. It's a 2-2 game. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. <laughs> Stepping in now, Robert Rodriguez, as he lines it out to center. That's in there, base hit. 
and they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners, with nobody out. Boy, there's another base hit. This is just kind of like that gift that just keeps on giving. Devo, both teams piling up the hits, and we're just in the third inning. Yeah, their ears were open on both sides during the pitchers' meeting today. Good plan at the plate. A lot of execution from the offensive side on both sides. Lifted the other way out to left center. Rodriguez is there. Let's see if they try it. And they decide not to push things here with one away as he'll hold on at third base. At the plate, Edgar Armas and their runners at the corners now. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. On the line, that's a base hit. And the run is in to score from third. It's a 3-2 ball game. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, d -Roy. You get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%. Not trying to do too much. Able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. Into the box. Bo Duvall. One there. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. So two runs on four base hits, no errors, and a runner left on. On now to the top of inning number four. San Antonio's out in front, three to two. And we'll be back to take a break. Stepping into the box, Gary Bentley, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Suter on the move. One down. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Taylor Motter, and remember he hit that two-run homer his first time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Takes a high fastball for a strike. We're in the fourth. Three to two is our score. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. K 
can't imagine he comes back with a third breaking ball. That hitter looked like he timed that one up pretty well and just missed it, fouling it away. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. Another full count offering on its way. This one's down to third. On to first, and there were two down. How about it? Designated hitter, Sam. Digging Ridley. in to try it again, Sam Ridley. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch fouled off here's the 01 pitch Got a big pass at a slider that gets past him the 02 delivery and a breaking ball stays outside here's the one and two delivery lifted in the air to straightaway center Shooter is after it. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end the inning. Striding forward now is the DH, Alan Cordoba. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. First pitch on its way. Hard hit ball to second. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. They've gotten their hits in deep counts. They've gotten their hits in early counts. This has been a real onslaught. Yeah, you can look at it one of two ways, Maddie. Either they have a ton of respect for the man on the mound and they are just going to ambush tactics and it seems to work for them. Or you can look at it the other way. They're just getting lucky. Into the box now. Art Suter. He swings and sends a bullet to right field. But he will come on strong out there in right and pull this one down for the first out. How about it? Catcher. Ronald. Stepping in. Ronald Clemente comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First delivery to him on the way. Line toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling frisky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. Standing in now, Enrique Herrera. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. A base hit in his first trip. It's a swinging bunt up the line, but it gets foul. Cordoba at second, Clemente at first, one gone. hit hard towards center and that's in there base hit and they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base and they're loaded with one away boy there's a bullet base hit right there but you have to hold there D-Row to make sure that gets through and isn't caught for a line drive double play yeah you have to play the game right there and respect the infield and respect the line drive I know he wants to get a ribby for his buddy but that's the way the game's played Stepping in now, Roberto Ruiz. Soft liner to the right side. A looping try, but it's out of his reach and into the outfield. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is into score. 
Not every ball is going to be hit on the screws right there. That one falls in front of the right fielder for a single. Found some green grass. Into the box, Robert Rodriguez hit in the air out to center field. Neuenheis coasts under it, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now the relay home, and he's going to get in there at the plate to make it a 5-2 lead now. That was a good controlled swing out of him there, and that's exactly what he was hoping to do, get it into the outfield and pick up the RBI. Ready for another shot now, Bobby Poirier. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Here comes the first pitch. Pulled toward right center field. Neuenheis giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On to the top of inning number five we go. The missions lead it. Five to two. Now to the plate, Mariano Carbajal. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Mariano Carbajal. Here's the first pitch to him. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. It's sharply but foul down the right side. Ready on 0 and 2. Popped high in the air. And there's your first out of the inning. How about it? Left fielder. Chris so the batting order Rodriguez. turns over now and set to go Chris Rodriguez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that one just missed outside. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Now the pitch. Fastball not close. It's two and one now. Hit weakly back to the mound. He's got to hurry. On to first and a good stretch over there is going to get him by a step for the second out. Digging in and looking for more. Dave Fukumori. First pitch coming. Here it is. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Armas has a read on it, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Edgar Armas. He came through with an RBI single in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Start of that swing a bit too early. A wave and a miss. A tick behind a good fastball. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. You could tell he was thinking fastball all the way here, and that's exactly what he got. He was able to get the bat hit out front and pull it into the gap in the right center. Now they're set up pretty nicely for a good inning after that leadoff double. Now with the plate, Bo Duvall. Here's the first pitch to him. Takes a look at one catching the outside corner. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. This is line to left. Rodriguez has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. 
the batter, number eight, designated hitter, Alan Cordoba. Digging in once again, Alan Cordoba. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. From the stretch. Now this pitch is lined into left center field. That's a base hit. Oh, and this goes right past him. And to score, the runner from second. Hey, Dero, there's a prime example of a little ambush piece, right? Come up there looking to hit right off the get-go. First pitch comes in, whack, base hit. Yeah, you want to know if this guy was ready to go? He had a game plan. Hashtag ambush. Here we go now. In now, Bart Suter. Yes, he'll pick on the first pitch and line one back up the middle, and that's a base hit. Now batting. Catcher. Ronald. Ready once again, Ronald Clemente. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. On the ground is short. This could be two. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So one run on three hits, no errors, and one man left on base. We're through five here at the ballpark. San Antonio's out in front, six to two. Ready for another shot now. Lawrence Bulger, he'll start things out now in the top half of the sixth. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. And there's his first base hit in this one. So the leadoff man's aboard in their half of the sixth inning. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Fouled away. All right, all you're asking for as an offense is a chance. Well, your leadoff man has certainly done his part. He's gotten on base. You have to start clawing back into this game right now if you're going to find a way. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Danny, how frustrating is this right here? First and third, you got problems all over. Well, you come right out the dugout, right? You're starting an inning fresh. You're expecting to have a one, two, three inning. You look up, and all of a sudden, first and third, nobody out. It's time to make some good pitches. He's working on a one for two game so far. Pulled toward right center field. Catch is made. Here comes the runner from third. And the runner from third scores as they try and work their way back into this one. It's now a 6-3 contest. Digging in once again, Gary Bentley. First pitch coming. Here it is. Looking at a fastball for a strike on the corner. Well, this has been a lot of pitches for him out of the bullpen, as you can see there. They're asking a lot of him in this one, so I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a day off or two after this one. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. How about it? Taylor Motter steps into the box. A hit and two tries for him so far. Here's a strike. One pitch. Hit to third. Scooped up. Throw to first in plenty of time, and his side is retired. So they pick up a run on two hits, no errors, and a man left. Nine, one, and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. The missions lead it six to three. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Arkansas, number 22, Richard Nakayama.
digging in and looking for more. Enrique Herrera, already two for two. We'll look to add on right here. Enrique Herrera. Now the pitch. This is line to left. Again, a nice clean base hit. It's third of the game. So the leadoff man reaches in their half of the sixth. There's another line drive leadoff single right now. I mean, they have an they've had an unbelievable scouting report on these pitchers today. They are finding barrels. They are not trying to do too much. Guys are staying in the big part of the field and hitting everything on the screws. Into the box now, Roberto Ruiz down the third baseline to second for one. On to first, and they get them both. Now back. Third baseman, Robert Rodriguez. Ready once again, Robert Rodriguez earned himself an RBI with a sack fly his last time at the plate. Ready to deliver, here's the first pitch. Rounded back up the middle. And he'll turn and try the jump throw to first. Throw in time and the side is retired. Back here for Texas League Baseball on the show. It's on to the seventh inning now, but before the inning gets started, let's fill you in on what you may have missed. It's our game summary to this point. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Sam Ridley, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Up and away to start the inning, it's 1-0. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. And this is taken for a called strike. Oh, that's a tough call. Now one and two. Two and two. Ready with the 2-2 pitch. There's a swing and he sends the ball high in the air into left field. And it's gone. A solo shot here to left. And they cut the gap here. It's now 6-4. First pitch fastball off the plate there and it's ball one. Bases are empty here. Nobody out in there and it's even at one oh. and that one stayed up a little high Two two he is swung on and missed. He got him. That was aggressive pitching and that at that, and I like seeing that. He showed all hard stuff until the fifth and final pitch for the strikeout. When you work off your hard stuff, it really opens up your secondary pitches to be more deceptive. He's working on a one for three thus far. towards center field and a knock for him this time he's two for four for the game and he'll pull into second with one away now batting. riding in once again Dave Fukumori he represents the potential tying run if he can launch one or find a way around the bases yeah, Matt, I kind of doubt he's thinking about going yard, even though that would be the best result they could hope for. He's not a long ball threat, and he knows it, so he could just be looking for some way to keep that line moving. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. That one is out of here. This game is tied. So a two-run homer down the line in left. As they pull even, it's 6-6 now.
guys, we've seen four big balls between the two teams so far today. What are your impressions of the long ball display we're watching? Matty V, this is just one of those days where the ball seems to be flying, d -Row. The hitter's on point. The pitchers aren't making very good pitches. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's all about executing pitches, and they're not doing it today. They're leaving a lot of balls over the heart of the plate. And this offense, both offenses, are taking advantage. Now, here's the pitch. Down in the way, ball one. Well, this inning pretty much has been one to forget for him, but he's still out there, and it's only going to get worse if he dwells on it and lets the frustration take over. Easier said than done, though. Ready with the one and two. Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Three runs already home here. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. We know he's probably still thinking about that game-tying home run he just gave up, but I'm going to give him credit for not showing that it's bothering him. When you come back and strike out the next guy, it shows you've still got your head in the right place. And that's inside for a ball, 1-0. and oh. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and oh now. Look out. All over the place now. 3-0. and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. And he lays oh, off. Ball four. Out. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. How about Stepping in, Kirk Neuenheis. One for two on his line so far in the game. And a fastball to start things out here. Not close. It's a ball and no strikes. Now the 1-0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. You know, that slider we just saw there is usually a much more effective pitch for him, but... Obviously, today, that just hasn't been the case. It's tough to be successful when your arsenal isn't at its best. Dribbled up the line. That winds up foul. The 2-2 pitch. This is pulled into right. In there, a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. The batter, number five. Shortstop, Gary... Bentley. In now, Gary Bentley. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. There's a knee high pitch that catches the zone. 0 oh 1, here it comes. On the ground, back up the box, and it'll get through into center field, a base hit. And this gets right through him, and that may be a run. And he's in safely to third, as a run is also in, and with it, they take the lead. Dan, you'll take RBIs any way you can get them, but when they give your team the lead in the late innings, man, that feels good. Oh, it especially does, especially when you start to score runs late in the game off of quality pitching. When runs are at a premium, that's one that makes you feel really good about yourself. And that's in there as well. 0-2 now. Neuenheis, the runner at third. Bentley on a second with two down. Now that ball's hit well. Deep down the left field line. Headed toward the foul pole. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at-bat here. Got to believe that was a mislocation. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. Arkansas leads this thing 7-6. to six. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Arkansas, number 23, Christopher Marshall.
leading off the inning, Bobby Poirier, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground to second. And there's one down now. The right fielder, number 12. Ready for another chance. Edgar Armas, he'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Down the first baseline. Vogelback loves it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. First baseman, number 19, Bo Duvall. Digging in to try it again, Bo Duvall. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hit on the ground to third. To his left, Mutter. On to first, and they don't come any easier than that. A three-pitch inning, and the side is retired. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. The Travelers lead it 7-6. to six. Sam Ridley will stand in to try it again already with one home run of the ball game and on cue here it was back in the seventh inning a solo shot that provided quite a spark for these guys he's set here it comes high and deep to right center Suter sprinting after it he makes the catch a great effort to get there and record the first down of the inning Standing in, Mariano Carbajal. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. First pitch on its way. Ball one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny D, I don't know what your thoughts are, D-Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. Ball, that's out. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. And he falls behind now, 2-0. And he gets this fastball over. It's two and one. Carbajal, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Runner goes for second. Swing and a ground ball to third. And that's in there for a base hit. His third hit of the game. And they'll have runners at second and third following the one out double. At the plate, Dave Fukumori. And this is just the eye test talking here, but this reliever looks fatigued to me. Doesn't seem like his stuff is really effective right now. Yeah, I can't disagree with that, Matty. He's allowed a couple of runners to reach here in the inning, and the command just doesn't seem to be there anymore. I got to think they're going to turn to a bullpen option very soon, if not right away. One and one. And he lays off upstairs, but it's ruled a strike, and he can't believe it. One and two. The one, two. There's a fastball that misses. Runners are at second and third with one down. Grounder down the line at third. And he's safe. Now with the plate, Lawrence Bulger. He's one for four for the game. First pitch coming, here it is. Thought he had the inside corner that time, but it missed for ball one. This is where you got to empty the bucket out on the mound. Throw your best stuff right here, right now, and try and get out of this. If anything catches outfield grass, this game's probably over. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. And that is going to cost him a run as he'll scamper home on the wild pitch. Man, he's out there trying to throw strikes and give his guys a chance to come back and maybe win this thing, but that wild pitch and the insurance run it allows to score certainly aren't helping matters in the slightest. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here, so we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Dan Vogelback is on deck. And it's up to a 3-2 full count now. 
When you get yourself through a 3 1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. And this is taken here for ball four. Just the second walk he's allowed into his eighth inning of work. So here's the cleanup hitter, Dan Vogelback. He's one for two in the ball game. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And a curveball gets away, and this ought to be a pass ball. And that will be a pass ball and an unearned run as he's across to score. Still only one out in the inning. High and deep down the left field line. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. One one home is taken for ball, ball two. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until someone starts attacking the zone? And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now batting. Center fielder. Stepping up now, Kirk Neuenheis is looking for hit number three here in this at bat. Oh Lays off 1 0. Now the 1 0. Oh, and look out as this runs in and gets him. The second man he's plunked in this one. And this is a case of a pitcher letting his frustrations get the best of him. He feels like he gets robbed on the previous pitch, and he just rears back and really let it go on the next pitch, but it got away from him in a big way. Now batting, Gary Bentley, eighth batter of the inning now with the bases loaded and two away. Ball one to start the at bat. Two and zero now, putting himself in a pretty bad situation now on two and zero, and the base is loaded. He basically doesn't have much of an option but to challenge him right here. Now a check swing, but it's strike one anyway. Says the home plate umpire. Fukumori at third, Bulger over at second, Neuenheis at first, two out in the inning. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. So they do strike for two, but it could have been much worse as they strand the bases loaded. Not too many more shots left. Home half of the eighth coming up. Arkansas leads this thing nine to six. Carlos Franco is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Alan Cordoba hits next. It's been a nice game for him. Three hits, including a homer to this point. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And that one is gone! <laughs> Shot here to straight away right field. His second of the game as this lead has been sliced down to two. Well, the skipper called on him for a reason, and I can guarantee you one thing that was not what he had in mind. First pitch, and it was out of here. That's a rough way to start your day at the office as a reliever. Stepping in now, Art Suter. And he's first pitch swinging here as he lines this one into left field for a base hit. Loud noises right here, fellas. Hey, he's going to have to mix it up a little bit more because they are on his stuff. Standing in now, Ronald Clemente. They still go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. 
Enrique. Digging in, Enrique Herrera. And it looks like this could be a critical at bat in this one. Well, a glance at my scorebook shows they haven't been able to get him out yet. So this could be a fun at bat to watch. Here's the first pitch to him. Oh, on the ground is short. Could this be two? One there on first, and it's a double play, although the run does come into score from third. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Roberto Ruiz. He's got three hits, including a double to this point. Third baseman hugging the line here. Now the first pitch. High in the air out to center field. Neuenheis moves over. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. So two runs on three hits, including the home run. No errors, and no one left on base. Ninth inning coming up. The Travelers lead it 9-8. to eight. Striding in, Taylor Motter. He'll start things off in the top of the ninth as they look for a little insurance. First delivery to him on the way. Now that ball's hit well, deep down the left field line, headed toward the foul pole. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. And there's ball one. Now the one and one pitch. Misses, ball two. One strike. A slider that time that runs away. It's three and one now. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan Dero, what are your final thoughts on what we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, Dero, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. to send him packing pitch on its way a little bouncer interesting pitch selection right there in off the plate not too many pitchers in the game want to go in there and risk hitting the guy and letting them get on first base free of charge the 0-2 once more little dribbler down the line but that one rolls foul The next 0-2 just got a piece up the line that rolls foul, so a good job to fight it off and stay alive. The next 0-2 is taken. That's ball one. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. Now a ball lined to the left side, but this will be a foul ball. Hey, we all love home runs and gaffers, but I love the mano e mano right here. Five foul balls in this at bat. He continues to make this pitcher work. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. Sam Ridley becomes the first out in the ninth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. And oh, this one's by him to the backstop. And forget about the double play now as he'll move up to second here on the wild pitch. Well, when you throw a breaking ball in the dirt, that's the danger. You have to trust your catcher, but this one skips away, and the open base takes the double opportunity away with it. Might prove to be costly. Modder, the runner at second with one away. Lays oh, off a fastball that doesn't miss by much, and it's 2-0. Bouncer up the middle. And that'll get by into center field for a base hit. And a very important insurance run comes around to score from second. Dan, that's a huge insurance run right there. Has to feel good as a hitter right there to not only get a ribby knock, but to give your team a little bit of breathing room. It, it does, and it makes nope. your pitcher go out there with a little bit more free and easy frame of mind instead of going in a one-run game where every pitch is so important. You're one pitch away from a solo tying the game up. That's not the case now. 2-0 and now. Runners on first with one down.
a 2-1 home. Runners off for second. Ready with the 2-2. Two two. Missed with a breaking ball. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. And that's another base hit for him. He's on a tear in this one. And they'll have runners at the corners following the one-out single. I know this guy isn't known for his hitting prowess, but that's a nice job right there. Getting a single on a 3-2 pitch in the middle of the zone, grab your glove and flash some leather. And he'll miss the target away with a fastball. It's 1-0. He's looking for his third hit of the ball game here. 1-0 pitch on the way. Slider stayed too low. Ball two. Runners are at the corners with one man out. And a good eye that time to lay off the fastball. It's 3-0. If he concedes the walk here, he's in real trouble of giving up a big inning. It's not all that bad yet, but dealing with the bases loaded will make it pretty tough to wiggle out of. 3-1 the count now. The 3-1. Finds the zone to fill the count, three and two. And he misses with it, ball four. So that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. I think he was trying to be a little too fine there, and a walk is the result. Well, the good news is he has a force at every base. The bad news? A single probably drives in a couple of runs. At the plate, Lawrence Bulger. Here's the first pitch to him. A fastball that just misses inside. And here's another ball well hit. This one to left field. The onslaught will continue as this is going to be another home run. So he will touch them all on the grand slam as it's now a six-run ball game. Dan Vogelbach is next. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. A and a fastball runs a bit inside. He's down 2-0. Well, I think he just kind of lost focus on the mound right there. It, it's clearly not going his way, and he's thinking more about that than the task at hand. And right now, he needs to think about this hitter. I appreciate the moxie right there, but three fastballs at this level usually turns into a knock. Into the box, Kirk Neuenheis. As he'll take a look at ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. And ooh, looked like a definite pitcher's pitch there on the inside, one and one. Vogelback stands at first with one out. Tried to shoot the corner and he missed it, two and two. When he's pitching effectively, usually that two-seam fastball is moving quite a bit, but here it's just kind of flat and straight could be a big part of the reason why he's getting knocked around. He three. takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Runner on first in a double play situation, so you expect to see a lot of pitches down in the zone, so I think that pitch up right there was a good one. Obviously, the double play is more efficient, but you're always going to take a K when you're on the mound. In now, Gary Bentley as he lifts it in the air to right field. Armas is there, and he puts it away to stop the bleeding. Nine men come to the plate, however. Five of them score. Two, three, and four set to kick off the bottom of the ninth. Arkansas leads this thing 14 to 8. Settling in now, Robert Rodriguez. He'll be the one to get us going here in the bottom of inning number nine. Robert Rodriguez. Here comes the first pitch. Hit back up the middle. Bentley fields it cleanly. Throws in time, and that's out number one. Now batting, 
So digging in now, Bobby Poirier. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Outfield comes way in here. The first pitch. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. The right fielder, number 12, Edgar Armas. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Edgar Armas. He's two for four in the ballgame. First pitch on its way. A fastball right down the middle for a strike. Pretty much an obligatory take that time. Yeah, when the first two guys of the inning make first pitch outs, you really don't have much choice. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance on the run, and he makes the catch just shy of the wall. And with that, this ball game is over. Well, in hindsight, it was the right choice to let the setup guy stay in the game and finish this thing. I wasn't so sure before, but the results sure speak for themselves. 14 to 8, the final score here. The Travelers jumped ahead in the seventh inning and never gave the lead back. Richard Nakayama earns the victory on the mound. Luis Ramirez takes the loss after an effort he'd like to forget for the rest of his life. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. And so today's third game ended in defeat for the San Antonio Missions. The Arkansas Travelers came back with the vengeance because of yesterday's two ball games that the San Antonio Missions won. Well, the failure goes to Luis Ramirez, who was not replaced by the dugout managers and most likely this was a loss because of low energy well the missions will have a team meeting today and most likely they will discuss on how they will fix the problem the final score is the Arkansas Travelers 14 the San Antonio missions 8 well, we are back for one more game with the Travelers tomorrow. And on Thursday, we will head for Northwest Arkansas for three. And after that, we return home and we face the visiting Midland Rockhounds. So this is just about do it for today with Minor League Baseball, the show. We'll see y'all again later. Coming up next, we've got Star Wars Battlefront for y'all. So be back in a bit.